Welcome, happy Wednesday. This is Best of the Valley. I'm your host, Jenny K. Berry, and I will say I have a pretty kick-ass show for you tonight. First of all, I have Michael Tucci here, and he's going to tell us about how to fundraise for Superstorm Sandy. If you haven't heard of it, super how could you have not? Superstorm Sandy has hit the East Coast pretty hard, and there are several victims out there that need help. In fact, I think it was yesterday, I was listening to iHeartRadio, it was a New York station, and I heard what was probably genius in marketing. It was a car lot, and their sales point was they had 3,000 dry cars. 3,000 dry cars for sale. That tells you a little bit about what's going on in the East Coast. So I have Michael Tucci here with me from the break room. Welcome, Michael. How you doing? And this um, weekend you're having a fundraiser, correct? Correct. Okay, where is it at? It's uh, at the break room. It's on Ashton Golden State um, in the Foster Freeze parking lot. Okay. It used to be called Diamond Billiards. Oh, that's I used to go play there back in the day. <laughs> it's quite some time ago. And uh, how do you enter this? Um, you can just come and sign up. We're taking sign-ups at 11 a.m. The tournament will start around noon. It's um, $25. Um, you get an event t-shirt for the hurricane, and you also get a plate of food. I think we're having tri-tip and chili beans. Nice. And then you get a, a, an entry into the tournament. It's going to be a, an eight-ball eight ball tournament. What's an eight-ball tournament? Uh, it's, it's pretty <laughs> much uh, what most of the people around here play is eight-ball, all, all in the bars, all in the pool halls. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit bigger than nine-ball. Nine-ball hasn't quite catched on in the amateur division. <laughs> If, if you didn't catch the show before us, so we tried to go a little bit into what billiards was. I'm still clueless. I'm sure Athena's still clueless. <laughs> it takes a good... Uh, how long have you been playing? Uh, just out of high school, so probably about 10 years, I think. And what made you want to raise money for Superstorm Sandy? Um, I don't know. I guess we've always <laughs> wanted to help out. It's good. Um, I have some family members and friends back east also. Oh, okay. Um, but we just have the resources now to be able to, to get out and it, it's not really taking much of an effort to get everybody to donate. We got a lot of businesses donating prizes for a silent auction we're having. Oh, so you're going to uh, have a silent auction yeah, that day? Yeah, we have, um, uh, me and my partner, my business partner, Phil, we started a pool league about uh, nine weeks ago, kind of like the league that we were, mm -hmm. they were talking about on the show before. Um, so we get a lot of contacts and a lot of the players that are in our league are, have their own businesses that are donating now. Okay. And what kind of silent auction items can we bid on? Um, little things right now. Uh, Mecha Billiards, um, they're donating a pool stick and a dartboard. Um, just kind of little items like that. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, a masseuse that's giving out a 30-minute massage. Nice. Um, one of my friends that works down the street here in Tower, Sandra, she owns the, the Eclectic Muse. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. they've, they've donated money. Um, and then some of the bigger prizes we have, we actually have 49er tickets and Raider tickets. Nice. So, yeah. There you go, the 49er fans, Raider fans, go on down to the break room. Uh, how long have you had the break room? Because I do uh, remember it being diamonds for quite some right. time. I don't travel down that way very often anymore. Um, was it November? Uh, about a year and seven months now. That's nice. Mm -hmm. What made you open it? Uh, I just kind of <laughs> kind of fell into it. Um, an associate I had in one of the pool leagues. Um, we took first place one night, and she came to deliver the money and mm -hmm. just said Diamond Billiards was for sale if you were interested. And she got in contact with the with the owners, who I've known for a little while longer, and just kind of went from there. And do you have other fundraisers, other events that you're doing um, there? We've done a couple, I think three tournaments for the Pavarello House, a couple small-time tournaments, and raised uh, about five to 600 bucks for them. Oh, wow. Um, but this is a little bit bigger. That's really good. Bigger. Every penny counts yeah. for the Pavarello House. Mm -hmm. These people need your help, your support, so what you're doing for them is really good, not only locally, but for back home. Oh, yeah. That's really great. Now, tell me, okay, you're saying what 8-Ball is, uh -huh. so explain the game to me. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much, um, there's there's seven solid balls and there's seven stripe balls. Um, whatever you make on the break, um, if you make a stripe, then you have to go for stripes. If you make a solid, you go for solids. Um, the object is make all your balls before the opponent does, and then save the 8-Ball for last, and then once you make that, you win. I see. And so nine ball would be just nine a balls. whole extra one? Uh, that? No, it's a different game. There's only nine <laughs> balls actually in the rack instead of 15. Oh, I see. Um, but okay. you actually have to hit the balls in order 
the nine balls. So you hit the one first and the two first and all that. But whoever actually you. makes the nine ball wins. I get you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little more fun than anything. <clears throat> Now, when you sign up for the tournament, is it teams? Is it? Are you alone? Uh, the tournament for charity we're doing is is singles. It's one on one. Mm -hmm. um, the league, like the guys before us, were playing in Napa, and then our league is Fresno Team Billiards. Um, those are team tournaments. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what can they win? Is there like a prize at the end for the, or is it just they're all coming in for the charity one? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I went to um, Ace Trophy Shop. They're um, getting a trophy for the winner from there. And then our pool hall is going to donate a hundred bucks to the winner. There you go, trophy and a hundred bucks. Can't beat that on a Sunday. Sunday, right? Saturday. 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 It's the other one. Sunday. All right. And Saturday at the break room, starting at what time? Eleven a.m. How do they find you? How do they find me? Mm -hmm. uh, we're on <laughs> Facebook. We have um, a break room page, and then um, I have my own Facebook page, and my partner has his page. Um, Pretty much just type in the break room and, and something will come up for it. And it's pretty easy for them to sign up. Can you sign up the day of? It's, it's all day of, pretty all much. We're not taking of. early sign-ups or anything. Okay. Yeah. That's very excellent. Uh, if you've noticed, we are sponsored by Tioga. They're a local brewery here. It's pretty, pretty oh, yeah. good. We, we have been, a uh, local. <laughs> we've been drinking on it for a while. I didn't know we could drink on the air. It's funny. Oh, just online. We have no FCC rules here. Oh, good. <laughs> well, I, awesome. I used to work for a couple news stations, and <laughs> that was very prohibited. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will have Eric Rose here.